Home. Hey, Luke. Um, Zoo, uh, Ty, and Reggie were talking about how engaged Kawhi has been, even though he's been out kind of talking to you guys and staying involved with the strategy. So he knows what he's talking about when he talks to you guys. I was wondering, uh, what is the communication like with Kawhi, with the players? And when, when do you hear from him? And what does he usually kind of say? Or what's his insight? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously, um, you know, we miss Kawhi a lot on the floor. You know, he's such a, a huge presence um, for us, obviously one of the best players in the NBA. Um, so, yeah, you know, it, it's uh, it stinks that he's not out there with us. But um, like you guys mentioned and like the other guys mentioned, he's he's behind the scenes. He, he's always working, always talking to us, sending us texts. Um, you know, I know when we were in L.A., uh, you know, he's in the huddles, in the locker room um, at halftime, you know, he's, he's just always involved, always wants to, to, you know, make his voice heard. And uh, we listen when he, when he talks and um, he's, he's our leader. Um, he's our guy. And um, obviously he's doing everything he can right now to, to get healthy. Um, but yeah, you know, like, like, like everybody else said, he's, he's behind the scenes, making sure that we're staying ready and staying locked in on, on what we need to do. And, um, you know, he believes in us, um, just like everybody believes in each other. So, uh, you know, we, we definitely uh, listen when, when he talks to us. And with Marcus banged up, um, how people might not see this as much, but how key is he just to the defensive strategies that you guys do as far as being able to switch on almost every position? Yeah, you know, it's big. It's big. Marcus has done a great job all year. Um, I feel like he's gotten even better as the year went on. Um, you know, we're throwing, you know, I, I just know with, with him, we've been throwing different things at him defensively, you know, different coverages and switching. And, um, but he's embraced it. He's done a great job of embracing that, that role and, uh, you know, being a key defensive guy for us. And um, he's a physical defender and that's what we need, especially, you know, in the playoffs and this late in the playoffs, you know, he, he brings the physicality to the game um, that helps us out a lot. So, um, you know, hopefully he's, he's good to go and, uh, you know, we'll see what, what he can do and, um, but yeah, we definitely need him out there. Thanks. Farbod, you can go ahead. Hey Luke, you've, uh, you've had some pretty huge moments in these playoffs, especially, you know, game seven against the Mavericks. Is there anything you've learned about yourself throughout, you know, this playoff run and just that you didn't know before getting these significant minutes? Um, I mean, nothing, nothing too new. Uh, you know, I think for me, it's just, you know, I got to be ready to shoot at all times. You know, I, I know I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a really good shooter. I feel like I'm one of the best shooters in this league. And for me, it's just creating space, creating separation to get my shots um, and just being ready um, to shoot the ball. You know, that's that's my role. And, um, you know, anytime I'm out there, that's just kind of my mentality. So, um, but yeah, just staying ready to shoot. Um, you, you know, we got guys that make that, uh, you know, make plays and uh, can pass the ball really well. So um, it's just staying ready. Thanks, Luke. That's all the time we got with you. That's Thank cool. you. Thanks, Luke.